Alright, all right, shit, uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, shit, where, where are you from? Shit, I was born in Paramount, Eureka Street. Uh, shit, moved to Norwalk when I was. When I was about six. Shit, uh, shit, nigga just been cool and really shit. Uh, born April 3rd, 1994. Uh, 90s, baby. Young, young. Uh, shit, nigga just been. I'm chillin' and shit, I'm not standin' over right now on Cool Street, you know, niggas just chillin' and shit. Uh, that's cool, that's cool, shit, uh, yeah, how long you been making music now? Shit, uh, it's gonna be a year in, uh, about six days, about, actually four days, shit, uh, a year ago, um, almost a year ago, I dropped my stresses on, uh, July 4th, shit, that was my debut shit. Uh, shit, you can tell I got a lot, a lot better since that shit, so niggas was straight and shit, so. Um, name five rappers you fuck with right now, dead or alive. Shit, uh, in order? Uh, shit, it don't matter. Uh, I got my nigga Cole, that's my nigga right there, Kendrick, shit, Mick Jenkins, Absol, and I gotta give it to my nigga, my nigga Pac. Yeah, got to, yeah got everybody got you got name, to. everybody you name, let us type. Got to, got to. All right, shit. I heard you. Uh, I heard you mention earlier about a debut. I heard you. You mentioned about your debut song. Um, did you have? Do you have any any projects that you're working on or that you already dropped or? Yeah, uh, actually, I um, on October seventeenth, ten seventeen, I had dropped my debut uh, EP titled uh, "Take Notes." Yep. And um, it did cool shit. I didn't really. Uh, had no expectations, so it didn't lead to no disappointments and shit. Did you, uh, were you satisfied with the project? Yeah, not, honestly, it could have been a lot better on the mixing side, but it was for some for the first shit, it was cool, bro. It was, it was straight, yes. That's I was cool. satisfied with that. All right, so I'm just gonna ask you, uh, just out the box question, uh, just curious, what are your, uh, how, how do you view religion? Where do you, where do you views on that? Where do you views on religion? Shit, it's simple. Religion is division, really. Uh, shit, I grew up in a uh, Christian household. Mm -hmm. Mom uh, really enforced that. Start, uh, I never let to go to church, lazy nigga, all my life. Wake up on Sunday just trying to chill and shit. So moms hated that shit. But uh, I always, I always uh, wonder. Is this your mom right here? Or your arm? Oh, yeah, it's mom's right here. It's mom's. Uh, shit, I, I always wonder, like, uh, why is religion just uh, how did, uh, uh, like, uh, a heated discussion and shit, mm -hmm. and um, so I started looking up that and stuff, and uh, not just found out like shit. It's no real. It's no one man who has all that power. It's, we can't put that in a box and shit. So it's like I feel. I feel we all guys. You feel me? So, I feel you. I feel you. Spiritual shit. Feel me? All right, shit. Um, all right, getting back to the rap. It's all right. Listening to the rap music today. Where do you see? Where do you think hip hop is headed? Shit. If I had it my way, we going back to the real shit. <laughs> thank God, uh, thank God for Cole and Kendrick and uh, Joey and Absol. We bringing real music back. We making that fashion a little bit again. But um, right now, the radio is disgusting. Really, it's it's program. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's it's program. Uh, what do you mean by pro? What do you mean by that? I mean, you wake up, you hear the same shit. Hour of the dollar, you feel me? So it's like you wake up, you hear your song. It's the same shit repeated. It's, it's the same shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the same shit repeated in your head, so it's like they, they're programming you to to like these songs. It's not it, the songs ain't cool, feel me? But so it's like you you listen to it a hundred times a day, you gonna stop bobbing your head. You gonna know the song, you gonna know the lyrics and shit. So it's just it's just weird. It's, but hopefully we get back to the real shit. You feel me? Hopefully mm -hmm. the real is back, like Cole says. Man, shit. Um. All right. Now talking to your fans. If you could tell your fans one thing, what would be your message to your fans right now on this day? Shit, uh, really just chase your dreams, uh, don't give up, if your parents ain't rocking with you, shit, just don't even trip off that, it's supposed to be your supporters and stuff, but not all the time they agree with what you're doing and stuff, so, you just gotta find it in yourself to follow your dreams, if that's really what you believe in, then shit, exactly, stop exactly, you. exactly, that's what I'm saying. Shit, uh, alright, we're gonna finish <laughs> up soon, are there, are there, are there any, um, Artists right now you you would like to work with you're interested in, you're fans of um, the first album that really put me on music and made me start listening to music more uh, in detail is uh, Lupe Fiasco the Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to my my cousin Jerry and Brandon who put me on that uh, one time and um, yeah I, I let him work with Lupe he 
cold influence in my life. Slick Rick, the got me on the storytelling, like that. Um, Slick Rick. And shit, ba- the ones, the five I, the five I named, shit, Kendrick, Cole, Ab, Mick. If you had the, if you had the chance, uh, would you like to work with any of those artists that you named? Of course, all of them, shit, that would, that would be, a, that would be an honor, but it's, sometimes it's cooler just to be a fan and, and enjoy somebody's music from a distance. All right, so, well, let me ask you this, who would you like to work with that you didn't name? Better a lot. Uh, a lot. Live, um, shit, I probably have to go with, uh, I gotta go with Nas. Nas? Nas. Yeah. Alright, yo, Maddie, Nas. Alright, shit, I'm just gonna throw a couple questions at you. See, uh, see what you, see what you fucking with, you know? Shoot, see what you prefer. Alright, uh, shit. Ask for Teddy, my nigga. Shit, uh, nowadays, if it's real, I'll go with the booty for sure. Yeah, the booty. Ain't nothing like the real booty. It's all about the. The thigh to ass ratio. If you got some, your thighs like this, your booty like this, it's like Pow. suspect. You feel me? Yeah. So, but yeah, titties, they gotta be able to shape too. So it's like, but yeah, <laughs> every it's ass nowadays. Ass, ass. Really, all right. Uh, shit. Um, do you prefer trap music or or more like the conscious music? Um, Honestly, it's all about my mood. I'm, I'm a real up and down nigga. It's hydraulics and shit. But, um, shit, really conscious, conscious music. Cause <clears throat> I'm a deep thinker. I'll be thinking on the daily and shit. So, uh, conscious music, they be having a voice for the conscious thinkers and stuff that we, uh, we really don't have in this community and stuff. But it's, it's all cool to get get turned up in a while and shit, but that's not for me all the time. So, you, uh, all right, shit. Nicki Minaj or, say, someone like SZA? Shit, I gotta go with the natural. I gotta go with SZA. I gotta go with SZA. It's cool, but... I know the history. I know the. <laughs> I, know the I know the history. But since you, you ain't one. I got. It. I love to work with you too. Honestly. All right, man. We're gonna take it back to the more serious. Now, one last question. Um. All right, let's start. Um, if you were to get, if someone were to offer you a, a, a deal right now to get signed, who would you prefer it be from? Uh, shit, honestly, no majors, really. I know how the deals be going down. I know how the slavery in this industry goes. So, honestly, uh, artists, Rock Nation, TDE, Cutthroat, my nigga Joey, uh, shit, and Dreamville, really, honestly. That's about that's, that's, uh, four or five my name, yo. All right, man, Jamil the God. Yes, um, shit, follow me on, on SoundCloud, Twitter, it's Jamil the God, J-A-M-I-L-T-H-E-G-O-D, we all guys, so don't get offended, you feel me about the God at the end and shit, preach, look preach. that up, um, but yeah, shit, follow me on my social networks, get it popping, interact with me on Twitter and shit, look out, Yo, young, Jamil young. the God.